Hello fashion sewers, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a neckband, in this particular example, into a V shape. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here we have a neckband and it is the full length of the actual neckline it's going into. I've got it on the right side, so the wrong side are in that side. And now I'm going to show you how to shape the band into a V. It's just basically putting those ends together and you've got your V shaping. And I'm going to put a pin in there and I'm going to stitch along there to keep the V shape. Here is an example of a V neck shape, shaped neckline and it is um, a stretch fabric. The band is going to fit around like so, so you have that nice V shaping and I'm going to show you how to sew that. Here I've done a row of stitching on the point of the V, this is to help, it's a reinforcement stitch, this is to help keep the shape of the V and also when you're sewing it please make sure that you don't stretch the fabric, that's important. Now in order for us to sew the net band onto the actual V shaping itself of the garment we need to snip into the point of the V but not cutting through the stitching like so. so just give that yeah so you've got that slit that's happening there now I've shaped the neckband and what I've done here in order to secure the shape is stitch a row of stitching within the seam allowance and that will give me the V point that is needed when I actually apply this to the V shaping of the top got the neckband shape in here and it's uh, the right in uh, the right way up and I've got the garment itself on the right side so I'm putting right side to right side and I'm going over the band now I'm going to be making sure that the V is in alignment with that little bit of row stitch in there I'm going to put a pin it in to keep that in place and then I'm going to I'm not going to be pulling on the band in order to, to make it fit because this is the part that we want a nice line to give that beautiful V shaping. So I'm going to put a couple of pins there and also at this point here. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So making sure you match up the raw edges, putting a couple of pins in. another one at this point and then I'm going to stretch it the band a little bit to fit in this area here because remember it is going to it is working with stretchy fabric and because it is a v-shaping and it will be a neckline that is stretched we do need to make sure that the band stretches with the shape and I'm going to stretch this a little bit more and remember you're matching up all your pattern markings at the same time so I'm going to continue all the way around the neck. I won't stretch as much when it comes to shoulder points and I'll stretch a little bit around the neckline and I'm going to continue pinning and then I'll take it to the sewing machine. I've now got my neck band in place. Here it is. And it's facing flat onto the machine and I'm working on the wrong side of the garment. And I've started to sew already. So, and remember, do face if you wish. I'm just um, pulling my pins out as I go and I'm working towards the V. So I just keep sewing until it gets to this point and it's very important when you actually get to the V and you, you'll see why you actually need to snip into the V shaping in a moment. So I'm going to make sure I'm within that reinforcement stitch line. I am and if I can just raise now this is the top remember this is the band and you can see it's given me this kind of flat edge here and that will enable me to really get to the point here and obviously create that beautiful V shaping quite close to it just be gentle as you go right I'm going to keep my, my needle down because I need to pivot 
So my needle is down, I'm going to remove this pin here, needle down, and I'm going to lift my foot, foot up, and then I'm going to turn my work. Foot down, needle down. I'm using my hand wheel at the moment to make sure I get that into place. That's probably the only tricky part, foot up again. I'm pivoting my work just to make sure that I'm in that seam line, and I am. And then continue to sew. So I'm going to actually continue to sew all the way around to the centre back of my top, and I'll show you what it looks like. I've completed sewing the net bands, and as you can see, this is on the wrong side, and this is what it looks like. It's a bit of curling of the fabric, but that will all be sorted out when it, I come to press it, and that's going to be very important to make sure that you get that V shaping. And I'll just show you what it looks like on the front, and there we have it. So it just needs all it needs now is to make sure that I use a steam iron to get that nice V shaping along this point here, and also to kind of neaten the raw edges what i would recommend is to do another row of stitching all the way around about six millimeters away from the first stitching and you'll be done i've moved away from working with my sample and now you can see the v net line on a real garment net bands are used to cover raw edges and also as a decorative feature you usually find them on sportswear uh, t-shirts and in casual um, garments and usually on knitted fabrics. I hope you find my video tutorial helpful and if you have any questions whatsoever please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you for watching.